Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bug Fables. Last time we left off we got to our first save point at Snake Bite Cave, Cove, River thing. So we're gonna go ahead in here and see what mysterious treasure we can find. There's much more light here. This room must be quite near the cracked ceiling. What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Uh-huh. Hey, Kabu. Do you really have to comment on every small thing? I... I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, he's so sad. You're so mean, V. Hey, don't, don't look so sad, or how about this? If I want to know more about where we are, or about something or somewhere near us, I'll just tap uh, left. Sounds good? Very well. I will make sure to have information at hand for when you do. Cool. Now let's keep going. Okay, so that's like another partner character in Paper Mario. Um, he, uh, the character can use the tattle ability outside of battle to explain an area to you. See what he has to say. Wait, what? Oh wait, no. Okay. It, I, it's, I thought it was right, but no, it's actually the back button. Snake Mouth Den is quite dangerous, but this room's quite cozy. Let's go before you jinx it. Hey, uh, weird thing. I wanna- oh, I tried to bop it, but no, it hit me first. Well, I blocked it. Alright, oh yeah, let's, um... Let's go ahead and find out about you. Let's spy on your ass. I messed it up. No. Alright, come on. Boom. There we go. What's up with this thing? It's like a spiky pill bug. Two defense. Uh-oh. So this is, so that basically gives the enemy damage reduction. So if I was going to do three damage, I would only do one. Its armor is really strong, so I can barely hurt it. I bet Kabu can flip it over though. Oh, that's neat. So it's basically like a Koopa in uh, Paper Mario. Cool. Flip over, you jerk. Now look at you, poor and defenseless as this boomerang smashes your skull. Or your stomach, whatever. Close enough. Oh, whoa. My, my leaf bounced. Well, that let me know that that's a bouncy pad. If I, for some reason, couldn't have figured that out on my own. But I have done dumber things before, so I wouldn't be surprised. Anything hidden over here? Nothing. Alright, well, bouncy bounce. No. Oh. Okay, you have to... It's like, it's like the first jump is the only one that goes high. Hello. Yeah, I knew you had money in there. Holding out on me. Ooh. Can I get that? I wonder if you have an ability that allows me to... I'll probably learn that ability here. It looks like the same kind of ability that Cooper in Paper Mario has, where you shoot him his shell, and it's basically like a boomerang. It brings the item back to you. I think I've seen in screenshots for this game that something like that is in, so... Is this a rock I can smash, maybe? No. No smashing for me. Hmm. Yeah, they, the, whoop. The bridge seems to be out. How are we going to go across? Well, that's it. Game over. Let's go back. Oh no, I just started. Wait, V, hold on. It's too soon to give up. There must be a way. Duh, I was kidding, you know. Look over there. It's one of those ancient switches. We just need to hit it. You can just fly over to it, right? That's too much effort. I've got a better plan. My mighty beamerang. That again. I just need to get in front with X and press B to throw it. I will trust you in this then. Give it your best shot. Okay, so I was absolutely right. It is just the boomerang. Hey. Go ahead and chop that bad boy down. Oh, and, there, and uh, V's a little animation. Well done, V. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Um, yeah, of course. Ju just as planned. Let's continue. I'm glad to have a reliable partner. Super reliable. Oh. They're, they're an adorable combination so far. I like them a lot. Um, anything hiding back here? Can I cut grass with this, maybe? No. Can I hit you? I can. There we are. So we got a first attack, so... Yeah, we can start off just killing this character, I suppose. Maybe we don't kill them in this game. Let's not let's not take such a dark turn with it. Maybe we just uh, well, he did just kind of puff into smoke. 
I don't know, may maybe we do not murderous things to them. Okay, well this won't work out. So, okay, so you can't just switch for free. I was curious. Okay. So, yeah, if we want to use Kabu first, or Kabu first to flip somebody over, we just have to press X in battle. Cool, cool, whoa. An aphid egg. An egg from a happily raised aphid. Make sure to eat it before it hatches. Restore three HP to now. Oh, jeez. That's messed up. <laughs> Make sure to eat it before the thing alive inside gets out. Ugh. I don't like that. That makes me feel bad about using a healing item. <laughs> I will save all of the aphids. Leave this place, for beyond this point lies great danger. We have already lost one of ours to this wretched place. Curses. The coziness was an illusion. Our path won't be easy, that much is for sure. No place full of tre treasure's ever been safe. So many have fallen, looking for riches. Let's find the treasure quickly, so no one else ventures in here. I will do this for them. Kabu, you're very, uh, gloomy, melancholic, and such. Seems to be broken. What if I smack it? Sometimes you can fix things by giving it a good whack. No? Okay. Is there anything hiding back here? Okay, I saw there was a little, um, <coughs> bit of that wall that was opened up. So I thought maybe I would be able to get back there, but no dice. Alright, well let's switch to you because you're definitely best at, uh, getting that first hit in on enemies. To make these, uh, fights go by a bit faster. And perfect! We have something that you can murder. Uh, specifically tailored to you. Bop. There we go. Now let's go ahead and flip this, uh, Koopa Troopa over, basically. <clears throat> I think I was a bit late on that attack. Yeah, I just realized how low our, uh, HP amounts are. I, although I guess in Paper Mario you start with, uh, what is it, 5 HP? Or do you start with 10? No, you start with 10. You definitely start with 10. Yeah. I was thinking of something else. Give me all your money. And now we chop. To get more money. Ooh, that's a spring pad. So that'll lead us up to a hidden item, probably. Whoa. It's a thousand year door. We gotta get in there so, uh, Peach can turn into, like, a weird demon. Huh. Can I... I can. I didn't, I didn't think the angle was gonna work out on that, but sure enough, it did. Oh, I can smack it. Okay, so I solved the puzzle with, without even knowing that the puzzle existed, I guess? Or wait, I thought this was a pressure plate. Maybe that's not what- oh, okay, the things on the side are pressure plates. Okay, that makes more sense. Just go ahead and- yeah. Move these things up here. I like this little environmental uh, puzzle solving that Paper Mario has, and I'm glad this game integrates it so well, but... The developers definitely seem like they absolutely know what they're doing with the formula. A mushroom. What? We did all this for that? Seriously? It wasn't even a rare item. Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom. Who designed this place? I will sting them in the face. I'll tear this place down. Whoa, calm down. Come now, Vi. Unfortunate as it may be, let's pick it up and start looking again. Grr. You found a mushroom. A mushroom. Beyond average. Restores 3 HP to an ally and cures poison. Aw, oh, poor Mario. He's so average. Just fall for a trap. Yeah. Huh? What? It's a trapdoor. Oh, they're doing the thing! And then they're gonna fall. Ah! Yeah, just like the cartoons. <laughs> wow, what a jerk. Phew, that was close. Uh. Kabu, are you okay? Uh. I guess he is. Hmm. This is the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look of that place. No, don't be rude. But I'm his reliable teammate. I'm going to regret this. Wow. Wait, why did the door open? Excuse me? Um. No. No rush. I can wait. Oof. I am lucky this mushroom broke my fall. I would have carried you, but you seem really heavy. Wow, rude. 
I assure you I am lighter than I seem. Uh-huh. Anyways, this place is really creepy. I must agree. There doesn't seem to be a way back up for me. We will have to look around. Let's be careful, okay? You were almost a goner. Yay! And look, we have another save point. Boom. Why can't we grab the mushrooms off this rock? Ooh, maybe we can. No? Doesn't work like that? Okay. I was trying to chop it off with the uh, boomerang, but nah, game's like, No, you're too smart. Get out of here with your smarts. We didn't program that. Well, let's head up the save point, why don't we? It's a full heal as well, so definitely worth it. And now I have locked myself into doing this recording until we hit another save point. Yikes. Is that a moth? By the queen, what a terrible fate. A moment of silence. Solidarity for a fallen explorer. This is... Uh... I don't know how to make it sleep sound. <laughs> how do you even do that? Wait, he's alive! Quick, we must free him. Okay, I'm just going to see if the boomerang can cut through the web. I will make sure there are no other survive. V, watch out! Whoa! That was cool. Oh, it's a big boy spider. Uh, uh, a spider? You're a bee. <laughs> how could a bee so huge sneak up on us? Kabu, we've got to run. Treasure ain't worth this. It's not that. We can't abandon this poor moth to his fate. I... I... Oh, are you gonna run off? Make me do this alone? Yep. V! V! Wait! Curses. This has to be some cruel irony. However, I can't give up, even if I'm alone. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, what is this? This sounds like it's from Donkey Kong Country. Oh, I like this. Oh yeah. Nah, this is a bop. I'll be quiet so you can actually hear. It is stronger than it looks. Crud, it's too high up. If only V was here. Must I really sit here and do nothing? Uh, no, how about we spy on it? Wait, I can't spy? Um... Well, yeah, sitting here and doing nothing is actually exactly what you're about to do because... <laughs> we can't do anything. I blocked it, though. That was a good one. It- it's too much by itself. After all. Everyone. I... I failed. You wasted your hopes on me. Boom. Take that. V? Look, I... By the holy jaws of the Queen V, you left me to my fate. You are vile. <laughs> hey, I was going to apologize and I came back, right? You pushed me away from the web, but I still left, so I'm... I will properly scold you later. The situation is dire, but I've got a plan. We will attack the web holding the moth while battling the spider. And we bail when we free him? Precisely. Except we'll run together, this time, without leaving anyone behind. I apologized already! Here it comes. Let's do this. Yeah, the writing, the writing in this game is definitely Paper Mario-esque, and I kind of love it. Alright, so can we target the web? Yeah, okay, there we go. Also, it's kind of weird that the web changed screen, but I guess we, like, turned around and that's the logic? It, like, changed- it's- it's on, like, the other side of the screen now. Weird, but... It's fine. Um... Well... Taunting might be my best idea... Because I don't want them to attack V. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, so hit my tank. My person that has two more HP. I blocked it. Alright, so... I wonder how many hits it's gonna take to actually get the web down? Okay, more than that, apparently. If only there was a defend. Well, you... Oh, wait, can you attack the web? I mean, yeah, I guess that does still count as the web. I assumed we actually had to attack the strands. Remember the plan. We must attack the web holding the moth captive. That is precisely what I am doing. 
Boom. Get down here. Come out, moth. All right, we did it. Be gone, wretched beast. Ooh. <clears throat> Kabu, I'm done here. Well done. Now let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I don't even know what, what voice I was doing for that one. Oh no. Leave us alone already, monster. <laughs> he just poked it in the eye. Ow. Uh, uh. Gee, glad it's too fat to come in here. Um, Kabu? Sorry for running away. Ugh, very well. You are forgiven, V. It was understandable. Took you long enough. Most people would be crying at getting rescued. <laughs> Let's turn over a new leaf, V. This moth is our priority. You're awake. What the? Hey, you okay? You hit your head? Could this be moth speaking in an ink? Could this moth be speaking in an ancient tongue? Perhaps he is of the fabled tribes lurking underground. No, no, we 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 can speak Bugnish. Do you need like a minute? No. We are fine now. Thank goodness. You had us quite worried. Where are we? Where is the spider? Right. Let's get to speed. Let's get you up to speed. Talking monologue. Yes. Truly? Seems we owe our life to you, V. Seriously? No big deal. It sucks that we're trapped, though. Are you looking for treasure as well? Alongside fellow explorers, or... What's your name? Leif. Leif is fine. And somewhat... A scouting mission, in fact. You got some luck to be alive. Did you learn anything scouting? Anything about the artifacts? Artifact. If it's here, it's probably ahead. If we work together, we will surely find both it and the exit. We have little choice. We will accompany you. Can you fight? Not really part of scouting. Seriously? You came into this place without knowing how to fight? Make sure to stay behind us so we can protect you. How reassuring. Okay, we spent too much time here. Let's look for the exit. Hey. Look at that. We got a new character. He's a moth boy and I gave him like a melancholic voice because that seems, he, he seems sleepy. He seems tired, which honestly is my entire aesthetic. I am always sleepy and tired, so yeah, no, I feel you, dude. All right, what's uh, the journal say? So, well, Snake Mouth Steps. The underground area of Snake Mouth Den has been completely consumed by fungi. The remains of explorers and ancient bugs roam this place, like puppets controlled by their alien hosts. And yet the desire for riches keeps bringing explorers back. Wow, that's actually super cool. So it's basically saying that they're controlled by uh, the mushroom, Cordycep? I think it's called a cordyceps mushroom. It's the mushroom that like takes over bugs and uses their body. Hmm. So that's what's in here. That makes this place a lot more distressing. We have already lost one of ours. Uh, we have already lost one of ours to this wretched place. Lost to what? How did it happen? The ominous letter left behind for future explorers raises more questions than it answers. But one thing is for sure. It is not a prank, not meant to be taken lightly. All who read it and proceed have been rightfully warned. Okay. Seedling? Yeah, that's the bestiary. Bestiary? I'm not, I'm not sure how many things would be in there. Nothing recipe book and records? Cool. Okay, so the new character still isn't in our party, I see. And yeah, we don't have any medals yet. It'll be cool once we upgrade, once we get the ability to do those, because that'll open up uh, the customization and combat a lot. Would you like to save? Saving. Please stand by. Save complete. Um, I don't think this video is quite long enough, but that is a save point. Maybe I can do a couple of things in here and then walk back to that save point and save. What a weird tablet. It's written in an even weirder language. Seems to be ancient script. Hmm, these letters look familiar to us. We should be able to decipher it. Let us check it again. 
You can switch your party order during battle using the strategy flower. Whoever is in front receives a bonus to attacking power. In return, said person is targeted more often and by enemies. You can switch if someone has exhausted all you can't switch if someone has exhausted all their turns. Can't I do that just by pressing X though? Huh. I mean, I guess. That's a new enemy over here. We got like a seems like a yeah, it's an ant that's been taken over by a mushroom for sure. It's being controlled. That's a neat design, I suppose. Yeah, how about we ex spy with you? Zombie ant. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. Eep! That ant is possessed? No way! That's just a story- that's just a story the queen tells us- uh, t tells kids to scare them. This is too creepy. I'm gonna take it out. I wonder if each character has a different thing they say depending on who you actually get to, like, spy on the monster. That's really neat if so. You can tell a lot of heart went into this game. I love it. Okay, so... If I could somehow get a great with you... No. So, it's gonna get to attack. Well, I blocked it, so... Who cares? And now, eat boomerang! Oh, so close to a level up. Come on. We're almost there. Oop, gotta grab my money. Give me that. Wow, this room's pretty big, actually. Jeez, look at the size of it. Well, we can at least go over here. What do we got? Oh, got a switch. Chop, chop! Nothing. What about up here? Ah, uh, I couldn't do it fast enough. The wind-up on his um, attack is very slow. Alright. I love that he's basically just the one with the hammer from Paper uh, from Paper Mario, and she's like the... She's basically the equivalent of a jump character, I suppose. I like having the boomerang, though, because one of my main problems in Paper Mario was having a way to attack enemies that were on the ceiling or flying. So having a character with a boomerang is fantastic. And we leveled up. Rank up. Pick a stat boost for the new rank. The team gets plus one HP point for each member, letting you survive longer. Three plus teamwork points, letting you use more skills. Three metal points, letting you equip more metals. Okay. So, um, I'm going to be getting as many metal points as I possibly can. Because metals are going to be fantastic, if it's anything like Paper Mario. Uh, most people that play Paper Mario usually go for a lot of, uh, BP. Because, I mean, these are good, but they're kind of boring, but BP opens up so many routes for fun things. So, yeah, let's go for that. Even though we don't have a medal yet. V learns Secret Stash. Ooh. Wait, what does that do? Secret Stash? Secret Stash of what? Um... Quick Metal Skills, here we go. V heals 4 HP to an ally while curing poison with an item from her secret stash. This does not consume normal items. Wow. So it's just a... It's a heal that gets rid of poison. Oh, jeez. Dead. Game over. Yeah, that would be funny. Yep, I fell into the water. What can you do? Alright. Well, I'm walking back over here because, uh... I think this is probably a pretty good spot to end off. Ooh! Before I end it off, I'd like to mention, it's so funny that they have the uh, same transition screens as Paper Mario does here, with like these weird rectangles that come out into the black void. Neat detail. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time for more Bug Fables.